a new war on terror. Secretary of State John Kerry in the Middle East seeking international partners to join the United States in the battle to crush Islamic State terrorist ISIS or ISIL. Yeah, here's CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer. It's far from mission accomplished, more like mission please let us accomplish. Secretary of State John Kerry meeting with Egypt, Jordan, Turkey and Gulf state leaders today to press for Arab support of President Obama's new war on Islamic State militants. As always, we're always partners and allies and friends uh, to keep uh, this area of the world and the rest of the world peaceful. President Obama wants as broad a coalition as possible as he seeks to degrade and destroy the Islamic militant group known alternately as ISIS and ISIL. ISIL is a terrorist organization, pure and simple. And it has no vision other than the slaughter of all who stand in its way. The terror group has already beheaded two American journalists and taken control of parts of Syria and Iraq. The president acting in the wake of intense criticism for admitting last month he had no plan to combat ISIS. If you threaten America, you will find no safe haven. The president responding to increasing public concern. As the nation marks the 13th anniversary of the 9-11 terror attacks, six in 10 Americans now say they are very concerned about the rise of Islamic extremism around the world. The president wants to expand U.S. airstrikes even into Syria and support rebel forces on the ground so he doesn't have to commit large numbers of American troops. On paper, the president's policy, I believe, is sufficient. What now it's going to be is how much he carries it out. Before we begin any kind of a sustained air campaign in Syria, we need to have a ground force that we can work with. Well, members of Congress are receiving classified briefings today on just how the president plans to arm the rebels, the rebels there. Many have expressed concern about the type of weapons we give them in case they fall into the wrong hands. Mr. Obama wants Congress to give him $500 million for the war effort. Chris and Mary. Marsha, thank you.